Okay, at least I don't have to stand in that bowl so sort of get any splinters. <laughs> um, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. I, uh, you hit a couple words there, especially the word confluence, because that's the title of this piece. Um, but before I, before we drop this thing, the sun will go down a little bit, it's kind of bright. Uh, I uh, want to make a point of, I'll never get everybody in this thinking thing, and I think a lot of things have already been made, but uh, um, it's really important for me. Now I've got them written down. I forgot someone last night, and uh, I was focusing on the people here in the cross that helped me, but I, I didn't mention somebody that is pretty much my right hand person as an artist here, and uh, uh, I, you know, I have to go home with these people, so <laughs> I better mention them. Um, and that that person is Abby Ken Foley. She's she's a uh, big, really the other team person, main team person as an artist who's been working for about half a year. Go Abby! She's awesome. And of course. I can't forget my wife, who's been with me constantly and dealing with all my ridiculous hours. And uh, sometimes a project like this one is so soul consuming, uh, time consuming. Um, some of the smaller ones, I kind of live a normal life, but something like this is, is just, I, I kind of understand you know, what Michelangelo went through with the, the Sistine Chapel because uh, it's, uh, you just, have a hard time by just functioning with other parts of life and things. Thankfully, Annie provides a bridge back to reality. Thank you. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the uh, lacrosse artist. That they went through a selection process with the National Endowment for the Arts, uh, where they paid for um, a, a few artists from the university and a couple, one other one that wasn't at the university. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Shelby Phillips, who's over there smiling on the camera. She's been very, very dedicated to this whole thing. And Alyssa Sherbert Hetzel. I got it right. She's been great too. They've been both great. She's actually uh, in this mural too. She's one of the lacrosse people. <laughs> so uh, we have a, you can live on <laughs> in the mural. Uh, Mike Martina, Mar Mar Mike Martini, Robert, many, uh, and there's so many more people that have, have uh, even, uh, even Jennifer Terpster came over and helped for a while. And that's another person I want to thank because she's the first person that called and helped facilitate this whole thing and round up special groups and, along with Don Smith. And uh, thank you, Jennifer. You've been awesome. awesome. <laughs> then Don Smith. Of course, a guy that we've uh, had quite a dynamic relationship uh, along with him. John Smith has really been uh, the driving force and kind of putting all these, even if he surprises me. Like one time we went to Piggy's for lunch after I'd already given a couple talks, and I thought, oh, I just, I get a chance to just have lunch and relax. And he takes me around the corner, and there's this whole, like, uh, walk this, or rotary club just waiting for me to talk. It's like, Thanks, Don. <laughs> he did that to me last night. See, I thought we were just going in for a snack because they were having some refreshments and food. And, uh, next thing you know, I'm, I'm up at the front and thanking people and forgetting people. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we could drop this thing. <laughs> Am I supposed to do that? We don't have to do it. Keep doing it. Oh, okay. I'm not used to this.
to see it uh, with the lights on at night, because right now it's a little reflective with the sun, so it's, there's a lot of glazes, so it's just probably kind of shiny, but uh, um, please come back and look at it. I, so I want to talk about Israel for a second. The name of it's confluence, and that's something that you tapped into. Uh, and that there's there's so much confluence going on here in so many ways. You have the three rivers that come together here. Um, we have, um, well, let me just go back here for a second. I use this kind of this arc of jeweled ice to surround this area geologically and metaphorically. It's, it's kind of like the cross where you have the drift this region. You have the ice going around this area and leaving the coolies and some of the erosion and in other places it kind of got scoured out. And it's, it's left this kind of a, this sheltering cove, a special place that we call a cross, or you call it a cross. I guess I can call it a cross. Uh, and uh, uh, one of the main things about this too is to have the people of the cross, the confluence of people all coming together here. That's one thing that has a lasting impression on me too is people here are so welcoming, so open. Uh, there, there's there's um, a sense of uh, feeling at home here. Uh, I think for anybody, race or anybody, you know, it all is welcome here. And they welcome the mom and there's all sorts of things in history that have gone on here that, that support that idea. And um, uh, I wanted to kind of do a mural that dealt with the idea within this arc of ice, we have this confluence of people, we have this confluence of geology. When we, when we look out at the bluffs, when we look at the river, when we look at the, the basin of the alluvial terraces, right now it tells a story of the past up to this moment, this confluence of time. We look at the people, everyday people. I didn't pick that in particular any personalities or, or well-known people, but the people of the cross. And they're all fairly current. And in their in their eyes or in their faces, it tells the story of Lacrosse's heritage right now, at this moment, here now. The idea of celebrating the cross uh, and celebrating the sense of place that I hope this mural gives is realizing that it's all here right now. It's not about going back in time uh, and wondering what it was like back then, but it's all here in this moment. It, even in the stars that are in the background mural, we look at the stars and we're experiencing maybe eight minutes away or four light years or a hundred thousand light years or more. We're experiencing history right now at this moment. And the idea stars behind that is let's celebrate the cross for what it is right now, what it's become, and the heritage is in all your eyes. The story is in all the people that live here. And uh, I hope I have been a, had, had an effective uh, um, combination of things, a confluence of ideas that uh, that comes across in this, this project. Uh, and it's been really, uh, there's been some special moments too. I've had uh, some of the representatives from the Ho Chunk Nation out here. And these people, I, I found a lot of these people on the internet, These a lot of the Ho-Chunk people, and it, it turns out that I balanced the clans out right, I got the right people in there that were very pleased, and it's just coincidental that they happened to be a good balance. And I, I felt the example of the mom that's here, I hope you get a chance to look at this closer earlier, really felt like the energy and the culture of the mom. And, uh, and then I met with uh, uh, Suzette Wernick today, and she came by and she noticed that her husband was in this project. And I just wanted to, you know, that was a very special moment for me. So there was nothing intentional about that, but it just seems like some of the right people came up into this mural at the right time and place to all come together. And the, the, the specialness of this confluence of people has become more apparent to me as I've been talking with people, getting to know people, and finding out who these people are. And uh, uh, that's exciting. I feel like there's energy that kind of had a confluence here with this project. And it's been a really, really powerful experience for me. And uh, one of the, uh, I think one of the closest I've ever been uh, introduced to the roots of a community uh, in a really deep way, personal, about the geology, 
everything about this area, I feel like they, well, Don Smith, Eva Marie Restall, and Jennifer, they made sure that I got to talk to a lot of people, and it was a pretty rigorous schedule. Um, uh, but I just, uh, I'm very, very happy. This is my favorite part of the opinion, is being introduced into the back door, the roots of culture, and, and being able to formulate a sense of place. And uh, uh, I think here, more than any other place I've ever done a mural, I've been, I felt welcome, and uh, at this point, I feel like it belongs. So, thank you. Nice speech, John.